Hello! Hey, in this video, we are turning a regular Nox3 app into this beautiful resume app. Now, this is part 13. Yes, I think it's part 13 of this Nox3 beginners tutorial. We've already built several components and we just added some props to this one component. Now we are going to add this to an array so we don't have to repeat this, you know, keep on doing the same thing over and over again. We really don't want to do that. We, we want to be efficient when we write our code. So this is how we're going to do. We're going to replace all these other components, right? This component is pretty much like this one, but we're, we're going to repeat all these with just a loop and this component. All right, let's go. So in section experience, we are going to write some JavaScript. So script setup. That is from, uh, I think that's from view three, the uh, compo composition API. All right, we're going to create an object. No, we're going to create an array with objects. Const, we're going to call this section experiences. And the naming should just uh, follow what this is about. You know, I could have named this just a uh, array or object, but you really want to have uh, semantic variables. Semantic me meaning that the, the name has some meaning, you know. Okay, so we're going to create an array and that array is going to have an object. And that object is going to mirror what's in here. It's going to look like what, what's in there. So it's going to be title and then um, see that. Now I'm here I'm thinking of TypeScript and just creating <laughs> a type. Never mind though. Title and this is going, going to do that. We're just, we're just going to copy that. There we go. subheading don't need to do that actually I'm gonna copy that and uh, text I wonder if it'll I guess it'll work in an object to And then what's the other one? Date. What's the date here? March 2013 to present. Okay, great. So that's one object. We're going to get the data from the other, right? So this object is one, the first element in this array. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna copy and then just change. So we're gonna to go to our UI, our user interface, and just copy. Really, just Control C, Web Developer. There, I've just removed. Wait, actually, no. <laughs> I realize that. There's some CSS going there. So we're just going to do web developer. Okay. And uh, this is shout media production. I'm going to have to type that out. No. Same place. IntelliText solutions. Great. So we don't have to change that. And then this is the text. I'm going to copy and paste that there. Bring this down. Bring this down. Okay. The date. 
just copy that. Place that right there. Now the way I like to code is I will do something small and then test it to make sure that it's working rather than building something big and then finding out it doesn't work and then having to debug a whole lot of stuff. Nah, <laughs> that's not fun. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna loop through these and then plug them right into section experience component. So we're gonna leave this as it is and we're gonna remove stuff once this is done. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna create, can I create a div or a span? Let's be safe, let's create a span. Sometimes when you have this um, web templates, they behave really strangely when you add a component. So hopefully this won't be strange. So let's try something first. Let's add this span and then copy and paste that. Let's see. If things are working out well, this should just repeat. But if not, it's, it's gonna look a little bit odd. So let's see. Okay, so it's repeated, very good. So that, that span did not impact the CSS. Okay, so we have three <laughs> of these, which refer to one, two, and where's the third one? Oh, three, there we go. All right, so we're gonna just repeat things here. Well, not repeat, but we'll loop through. So what we're gonna say is V4, that's like a for loop, and uh, oh, what should I say? V4, and then we're gonna call this experience, V4 experience an index in, what did we call this? Section experiences, section experiences. And then a key, and I'm gonna, um, explain what all these mean here in a sec. Second. Okay. So what this is, right? If this is from view, because this is a view, um, view component. So what this means is that we're going to loop through this section experiences array and index is how we're going to count each element in the array. So we're going to test this and just loop through these. So we're going to loop through this, but so index section experiences index experience refers to the current element in the array, right? So let's see if this works. <laughs> so experience re refers to an element in the array. So like this element here would be considered experience. So when we, since this is an object, when we say experience dot title, it's going to show that experience dot subheading it's going to show that. And because we're looping through this, it's going to show this other one. It's going to show all the elements in the array. So let's see how this will work. So before experience index, so we're just going to say title of this section experience component is going to be experience dot title and this is going to be experience dot subheading and this is going to be experience dot text and this is experience dot date. Okay. Now this is getting a little bit too much. So I'm just going to delete these. I'm ha having faith that this will work, but if not, we'll just bring it back. All right. So this, let's see what this looks like in the primary. Oh, beautiful. See that? So this is looping. This is the loop we just created right here. 
this is the loop so it's getting this data and putting it into its into this component and this component is being repeated as many times so v4 is like the um, for each loop in javascript all right now we can actually get rid of all these and just add to this array i'm going to get rid of all these and just add to the array wait a minute that was not wise actually because then they've disappeared <laughs> and i knew we need the data <laughs> that was not smart okay Control z or command z will bring up stuff that's so nice huh just imagine if you could have like Control z your life and just bring back the nice times <laughs> that would be awesome okay so we have experience web which is this one i'm just gonna delete that so we just need designer and intern okay let's go to the so junior web designer i have to write that because the css here makes this uh, capital letters junior web designer it's gonna copy and paste junior web designer Alrighty, and shout with the exclamation marks, media productions, media productions, shout media productions, shout, hey, <laughs> media productions, and then we're just going to copy all that. Oh, not there. And by the way, I'm using control, what's that? Alt and tab to switch between windows like that. It's, it's faster. Alt and tab key. Press down on the alt key and you move around on the tab key. All right, I'm gonna put that there. Put that there. You you don't need to do this, but it, it just makes it make your code looks nice. All right, and then the date. This is that one. Copy and paste. I guess we could remove that. Save. Let's see what it looks like. Yep, looking very good. And then we just have this one, web design intern. Web design intern. So I'm gonna copy that. Web design intern. Web design intern. And then shop. Oh, it's shot media productions. Okay, same same company. There we go. We already have it. Great. Then the text. Okay. Bring this back. Bring this back. Then the date. It's right there. Okay. Beautiful. See, it looks the same, but we have made our code more efficient. Now here is an interesting like little pro tip. The reason why this is great, right? That we only have one comp component now. So instead of having four different separate components to showcase these, we only have one component right there. And the reason why that is great is because the more components you have, the longer it takes Nuxt to build your app. Now, once your app is built, it's, it's really fast because you're just moving from one component to another and we're not grabbing any data 
from the database if you've designed your app well. And if you want to stick around to learn how to do things on the API side, hey, make sure you uh, click the link below and so you, you can um, learn how to get some tips on building your apps really well. Okay, because that's really going to help you. And I will send you some other tips to help you build amazing Noxt apps because that's what this channel, this site, that's what we are about. Amazing Noxt apps. So there you have it. Wait a minute, what is this doing here? This is supposed to be gone. Yep, we're repeating. So this is supposed to be gone. Okay, very good. So as far as naming, I know I've talked about this, but you see how semantic this is, right? That this is section experience is the name of the component. The ID is experience. Um, the sub component, section experience component, maybe you could name it something better, but it, it should still be around the same thing. And the title, experience title, subheading, experience subheading. This makes it easy for people to debug your code because trust me, if you work for a company or you're writing code for some other people, or even just your own code, right? People will be looking at it and you want it to be nice and easy, not hard. And people thinking, oh man, why did he or she write code like this? That's never fun. Never. <laughs> All right. The next, so we're done here. And the next, and this might be our last video, is we are going to do what we just did to experience we are going to do that to education and it's really uh that's a that doesn't look very hard right i bet you could do it right now all right so in the next video we're going to turn this into just one component and loop over the component as we have done for experience i hope you are enjoying this video so uh make sure you click the link below if you want to get some cool tips on building amazing nox apps stick around i'll see you soon time to close the video